Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to the World Series here in the Denver Bears franchise for the second straight season. The Bears have really shown off their pitching here in the playoffs, winning in six games in the NLCS, five games in the NLDS, four games, I guess. And then we move on to the World Series to face the Detroit Tigers, who are now reloaded with superstars, Gavin Lux, Ronald Acuna, a whole lot of guys they now have. They have developed guys as well, led by Casey Mize, Joey Wentz, and all of these guys on the mound. They have a very good starting rotation as well. And they are 7-4 in the postseason. They went to a five-game series in the NLDS, but then one and six in the NLCS. So we face off here in the World Series as we host this year. We have the home field advantage in the first pitching matchup will be Casey Mize and Luis Severino. Severino started in game six, so he is still not at full energy here. And here are the opening day lineups here for the World Series. Edward Pello leads them off hitting 216 in the playoffs. Uh, one guy to note here, Memphis Nealon. He is one of the subscriber prospects for the Detroit Tigers. He is finally up at the MLB level. So here comes Pello here to start out the game, and he does start out with a leadoff single here for the Detroit Tigers. And now they have a man on first base. That brings up Yu Chang, who hits one deep to left field, but this one will stay up in the air quite a while. And Ozuna is under that one. He is starting in left field today. Here is Ronald Acuna hitting only 224 in the playoffs, and he strikes out on the outside fastball. And that's the first strikeout of the game for Severino. And that brings up Memphis Nealon hitting over 300. This one will be a chop of the third, thrown on the second for the force out, and we will get out of that first inning, only giving up a leadoff single. So here is Benito Ozuna up to the plate. He has been hitting really, really good. Even though that average is down to 231, he has been clutch for us, and he swings at a low one. This one's driven to right field. This one will knock off of the top of the wall, almost a leadoff home run for Ozuna. He rounds second, heads to third, and it's a leadoff triple here for Benito. And we have a man on third base, Ryan Reynolds, up to the plate. He's hit up high in the order this year. As last year, he was down at that 5-6 spot. He waits on one and hits this one deep. And this one actually carries quite a bit all the way back to the warning track. And Ozuna will score. And it's 1-0 here off of the sacrifice fly from Brian Reynolds. Good start to this game. That brings up Jesse Winker, who has absolutely been struggling. 121 here in the playoffs. And here he is with one out. He drives one deep. And Winker breaks his slump. It's a home run. Do nothing here for your Denver Bears. 103 exit velo. And that is a great start here to the World Series for Winker. He has been the one guy who has not been getting going. And if he gets going, you got to watch out. This Denver Bears team can be dangerous. It's two to nothing. Here is the hottest hitter on our team, Jeffrey Ramos at the plate. He is behind this fastball. He could have turned on that one, but a little late. And that one will be flew out to Pello in right field. As that brings up Nolan Arenado here with two outs. Hitting 343 here in the playoffs. Hard ground ball up the middle. But it will just be fielded, thrown on the first. But a good start here for your Bears. It's a 2-0 game here in the first inning. Gavin Lux to the plate. One of those 99 overall guys in the game now. He hits one to the left side. That one will be a single. Is now with one out. Joe Rizzo at the plate. It looks like Lux is on the run, and he will swipe second. If the throw was on, I think that would have got him. As Joe Rizzo continues this at bat now, he hits one hard to left field. This one is down in front of Ozuna. Ozuna doesn't have the strongest arm. The throw is up the line. It will be a one-run game now as Rizzo scores from, actually not Rizzo, but uh, Gavin Lux scores from second base. Brings up Danny Jensen, the catcher. He hits one to the right center field. This one keeps carrying, and it gets to the wall. It will be fielded by Brian Reynolds, thrown to the cutoff man. C.J. Abrams will throw home, strong throw, but not in time for Rizzo. It is now 2-2. Two two. Detroit has a good offense. That's the one thing that in this matchup that they have for themselves as here comes the pitcher, Casey Mize, and we beat him. So now there's a guy on first, and it's the pitcher, as that brings up the next batter, and we get a lucky swing and miss. 
Capello just absolutely gets fooled on that one. Two outs. So it brings up Yu Chang. And Severino loads up the bases for Ronald Acuna Jr. Probably one of the best players in baseball. He swings and misses. Strike three on the changeup, and he chases, and his struggles continue here in the postseason as well. On to the top of the third inning. This is Memphis kneeling at the plate, and Severino walks him. Severino has been in trouble so far, 60 pitches already through two full innings. As now that brings up the next batter, deep fly ball to left field. Gavin Lux, and that one will be run down. Ryan Reynolds showing off the range right there, one out now as that does bring up Bryant Packer to the plate, hitting in that six hole, 3-2 pitch. And this is a grounder to the third. It could be two, but it's knocked down. Nolan Arenado cannot make the play. Nolan Arenado's got one of the best gloves in baseball, but he can't make that one. And they are going to rule that one in error as we decide to look at Severino. His energy is already low. We go to the bullpen, and we will pull Severino right away. This is definitely his worst outing here in the postseason as we go to DeAnthony Pierre, a spot starter for us, and he's been a long relief pitcher. He's been with us since the beginning of this series. That brings up the next batter, Rizzo. Ground ball to short on the first, and it's a double play. That's what you're supposed to do coming out of the bullpen, and we do get the double play turn and keep this tie game intact. That brings up Benito Ozuna, already one for one with that triple in the first inning. He goes the opposite field. That one will be a single now as the Bears get going off of the single from him. One out. That brings up Jesse Winker to the plate. He swings at one low. This one's driven deep. It's going to be into the bullpen. How about Jesse Winker breaking this streak of bad hitting at the plate? And it's now 2 Run lead here for the Denver Bears. Jesse Winker hits his second homer of the game, and that's a good way to break your slump, 426. And now we have this two-run lead that brings up Jeffrey Ramos. You know he wants to get involved. This one's right over the middle of the plate. 3-1 pitch. you got to be looking to swing your bat. He's going to give him a good one. This one will be a double off of the right field wall. And now with one out, the manager will come out and check on Casey Mize as they might try to pull him as well. This is the World Series. You have to be strategic with your uh, pitching changes here as that brings up Chris Stewart, who goes up the middle. It will be a single. It scores one, and also Stewart advances to second base. It's a 5-2 to two game. Now with two outs here in the bottom of the third inning, I, I was thinking their manager might pull him there, but Zion Storm comes up to the plate. He hits one well to right field. This one's got carry, but it just st sticks up and hangs up in the air, and they will get out of this inning. But now a three-run lead here for the Denver Bears. De'Anthony Pierre is one of those guys that could be a starter on any team, to be honest with you. He is just that guy that's kind of been in the middle of our rotation and our bullpen, but he has been excellent when he fills in. He's a lot like Mike Salucci. Mike Salucci can fill in, and you can just see De'Anthony Pierre, he's got good stuff. So he gets out of the top of the fourth as that brings us to the bottom, and that brings up C.J. Abrams in that eight spot. He goes to right field, and with 88 speed, he's going to round second, head to third, and he will have a triple here to start out this fourth inning it was, as we look to add one more here in the fourth as that brings up the top of our order after De'Anthony Pierre struck out. Benito Ozuna gets one low. He drives this one deep. Good, solid contact. And that is definitely deep enough to score, CJ. It is a 6-2 game here for the Denver Bears. And our offense has shown up early. It's now with this four-run lead, we go on to the top of the fifth inning. That's going to be a walk by Acuna as that brings up Memphis Nealon to the plate here. His average now dipped to 298 after going 0 for 1 today. This one's low, a liner to first, and it's going to be a double play. Jesse Winker heads up baseball, just reached behind him and tagged out Acuna trying to get back to first. So the Detroit Tigers decide to go to the bullpen. The first guy out is Joey Wentz, and look who he has to face. Jesse Winker already went deep twice, and you saw the average that Wentz has against opposing lefties and righties, over 350 for both. 2-2 two, two pitch, that one is inside as that brings it to a 3-2 pitch. Jeffrey Ramos on deck. 
Here is the pitch. It is going to be over the middle. This one's driven deep to center field. This one's got carry. Acuna to the wall. Three for three. The trifecta. Three home runs, and he's got the sombrero as he rounds second base. It will be a three home run game here for Jesse Winker. Welcome back to the Denver Bears because he has been missing for a while, but he comes back strong here in the World Series. That's why you give him $20 million a year to do things like this in the biggest stage, and he just does it again. Winker has been spectacular for us, and in his mid 30s now, he's going to be. He is the face of our franchise. Joe Rizzo at the plate now in the top of the sixth inning. This one will be a fly out as DeAnthony Pierre is handling his business on the mound. Here he comes to the plate now in the bottom of the sixth inning now. He helps himself out with the hit to left field. DeAnthony Pierre with 46 speed as well. I did not realize that he had that kind of speed as a pitcher, which is very, very good, 46 as now he's on first base. He also has 54 stealing as Brian Reynolds comes to the plate now. Inside fastball, and it will be ball four. And look who comes to the plate. If he can make this four home runs, this 20 million contract just paid for itself. A four home run game in the World Series, pretty much unheard of. I don't think it's ever been done. Here is Winker now, three for three. He swings that one inside on a three-two pitch. It's going to be a single, make it four for four. It's not exactly four home runs, but even better, he drives in a run at least, eight to two. And now we have this six run lead. Jeffrey Ramos, he's up to the plate. He's just a little bit behind that one. And it's a fly out to Pello in right field. But our offense, especially Jesse Winker has come alive here in the World Series. Danny Jensen comes to the plate here in the seventh inning though, and he helps himself out. That one is going to be gone, the catcher. And it's now a five run game here for the Detroit Tigers. That one was 485 feet, absolutely crushed. DeAnthony Pierre just missed his spot. On to the top of the seventh inning now, Acuna strike three on that one, and he is not doing well here in the playoffs. He is just not helping his team out as that moves us to the top of the eighth inning. As here is Pierre, this time is going to be gone. That one was absolutely crushed. And Pierre gives up a home run to Memphis Neyland, 451. He hits in that four spot. He's got excellent power. As that brings up Gavin Lux now to continue this inning now, one for three. Lux hits one deep to left field. This one's got carry. It's going to get off of the wall. And here is Reynolds coming up throwing. And it's going to be a triple here for Gavin Lux. He's got decent speed, 63. He gets all the way to third. And it's still a four-run game. We're going to actually go to our bullpen and pull DeAnthony Pierre and bring in Matt Foster, a guy who has actually kind of struggled for us ever since we signed him. He has not been spectacular, but we'll see if we can get his momentum going. We're going to need all the pitching we can get here in the postseason in the World Series. This is going to be Packard at the plate. He hits one deep to right field. This one is gone it is now a two-run game a six-run lead is now erased as that brings up joe rizzo now as once again foster struggles to get out of jams and he does get the ground out there to joe to zion storm from joe rizzo as that brings up jensen again who already went deep earlier this one's a shallow fly ball to center field brian reynolds giving chase on that one and now two outs here in the eighth inning Gil Gilberto Jimenez comes to the plate who is pinch hitting for the pitcher and he will get the single up the middle and Matt Foster just get one more out as we go to the bullpen I just don't trust it we go to Trez Jenkins who has been our best relief pitcher here in the postseason hasn't given up a run so far far nine strikeouts three walks because now he has men on first and second here as Matt Foster walks the next batter and he does get him to fly out as we move on to the ninth inning, this crazy game one, and see, let's see if we can hold off the surging Detroit Tigers as that brings in Jordan Hicks coming in for the save. He's pitched four innings here in the postseason as he faces the meat of their lineup. Acuna is up first, 0 for 3 in this game. This one's a fly ball to right center field. Ramos does cover a lot of ground out there and does get to that one. One out now as that brings up Memphis Nealon who already went deep earlier today he is one for three 
3-2 pitch now. Hicks outside slider. It looks like it was a sinker, and this one's hit deep to right field. It's carrying back to the warning track and caught by Ramos. The path that he takes to the ball definitely scares you. It makes it look like it's deeper, and that brings up Gavin Lux here with two outs. It could be the last out of the game, but it will be a hit off of the wall in right field. And Hicks gives up a rare double. As now this inning continues, we still have one out to go. Bryant Packard already went deep earlier. Two for four in this game, his fifth at bat. Will be a blooper to left field. Will it get down? And it does. Ozuna gets to it, but a run will score. Throw on the second. It is going to be out at second base. Packard tries to be too aggressive. And Ozuna with the put out there, the outfield assist, and it will be a 8-7 to seven game, one away to end game number one. You've got to be kidding me. That game was nuts. We gave up five runs there in the final three innings, and it could have been worse if Packard wouldn't have been that aggressive getting to second base, but the Bears pull it off here, and we hold on. It looks like we're going to need all of our offense. It took three home runs by Jesse Winker to win this one. And we're going to need everybody to step up. But it's a good sign that Winker came through. Four for four, three home runs, five RBIs. And he could continue this going into game two. We'll have to see. 13 hits for Detroit, 11 for us. I mean, that is a huge victory here for the Denver Bears. That just shows what type of series this is going to be. It's going to be excellent. Hit subscribe, hit that like button. Hope you guys enjoyed game number one. Next episode will be game two and three, I believe. But we'll see. Hit subscribe, hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I'm about my pledge. I'm decked up on blue bills. And I won't stop until the cash pit. There's like fall leaves in the back field. Tell her out of my face if she coming with that bull. Quick to save my peace. I'm so after school special. She brainy but them jeans looking like